Yes. I'm following you, but what about Elijah? What about Elijah? I mean, it was before that demonstration was um, revealed. Who created time? God. Does God live confined to time, or does he live outside time? Yeah, I, I catch you there. No, no wait, let me, let me, we have to answer these questions. All right. Does he live? In, is, is he constrained in a linear existence? It says in First uh, Timothy six sixteen that God lives in unapproachable light. Unapproachable by whom? Why is it unapproachable? It's just so bright. The wattage is too high. Or is this light metaphor for infinity? He's an infinite being, and we're finite beings. And finite beings cannot enter infinity. It's beyond us. It would consume us. It, it would fry everything because we can't process it all. God lives in infinity. Therefore, God wanted the close relationship with his created beings who live in linear existence in time. One member of the Godhead leaves infinity and interacts on the level of his creation. That member is the bridge builder, the go-between, the mediator, Jesus. He's the one who leaves infinity. He's the only one who's seen the Father, according to John, the book of John. No one's seen the Father except the Son who's left the Father's presence because he can enter infinity. So God lives outside time. He experiences past, present, and future are all equal to him. So now, if there is no remedy for a condition that exists anywhere in time, it's never been procured, it doesn't exist, past, present, and future, it can't be applied to anyone. But once Christ achieved the remedy in his linear existence on earth, God who lives outside of time can apply it anywhere in time. So he applies it. How was Elijah and Enoch healed? through the accomplishments of Christ by partaking of what Christ achieved via the Holy Spirit working in them. But Christ still had to achieve it. That's my understanding. If you have a better understanding, I'd like to hear it. But that's how I'm currently co comprehending it. And there's biblical support for what I'm saying. With the, Lord, uh, with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. He is not constrained in time like we are.